just now. So throughout the afternoon, I'll, I'll get a chance to have a look at the wicket. And, you know, with the last series against Sri Lanka, we obviously had a good series. In, we had two good games. Um, both games obviously went to the fifth day. So, you know, that momentum from that series, we, we're hoping to bring into this test match. Yes, I think obviously, you know, they've had a bit of a poor run of late. Um, but I think Bangladesh are a little bit stronger at, at home on their, on, in their own conditions. Um, so that's something that we're also familiar with because we've toured you so often in the past. Um, so it's not a, a foreign thing for us. Uh, so it, it should, be, should be a very good contest. Yes. Well, Arwen, as you already know that this test match will not be the part of the ongoing World Test Championship in Zimbabwe instead of the card in the World Test Championship. Uh, do you think uh, it was an injustice for Zimbabwe cricket that they are, they are not being part of this World Test Championship? Or how you were thinking about coming back to that, you know, elite form of test cricket? I think it's, it, it's a long process that you have to rebuild um, and we, we, we're starting that process now. Um, it obviously takes a bit of time, you know, you have to bring in younger players so that you can build your, your pool of players and I think, you know, over time that's one of our main goals is to get back up to the, get back up to the top. Um, but obviously, you know, it, it all starts now, it all starts with playing enough test matches throughout the year um, and then climbing that ladder. Well, one question is for the coach. Well, coach, in the previous visit, when you played test, you won the test match in Sydney. That was after 18 years. After 18 years, Zimbabwe won a test match outside their home soil. So, do you think the surface of the Sydney wicket helped your team to perform better? And the wicket that Mirpur, what we are going to play the next test match, will be behaving differently because it's much more spin friendly. See, every test wicket plays differently. I think that 2018, that's the history now. So we are just coming into our test match now, playing back to back two test matches. The players are more in the game time and I'm sure we'll have a very good competition. As uh, captain said that, you know, Bangladesh is very strong on their home surface. That's true. Uh, but it doesn't take anything away from us that uh, since we have prepared well and we'll give a run for their money. Coach, will we be missing Williams? Obviously, he was our key player, he was the captain and uh, a, a key player in the team because uh, we'll be missing him as a batsman, we'll be missing him as a bowler and even as a fielder. So, he's one of the best all-rounders we have. Coach, uh, <coughs> Coach spin has always been a tough trouble for Zimbabwe when they previously played okay. against Bangladesh in Bangladesh. Now, ahead of another test, how did you prepare your team to face Bangladesh spin attack? As I said, we had a good two test matches against Sri Lanka. Came today. Yesterday we never had practice. So once we go onto the field, then we'll have a good look at the wicket with the captain, and uh, and then we'll we'll take a call on that. Another. Yes. Captain, uh, do you feel that uh, Bangladesh is the one? Actually, they're playing in the home country, so the expectation is very much high. Actually, the pressure will be on the Bangladesh. Do you ever feel? Yeah, I think, look, Bangladesh, I think you're always, you're always under a little bit more pressure when you're playing at home. Um, I think, obviously, with their recent form, they'll be under even more pressure because now they are at home and they are sort of expected to win. Um, so that obviously plays into our hands. Um, having said that, you know, we have to concentrate on our processes and what, uh, what our strengths are and not worry too much about, about the, the Bangladesh history of Test cricket. Thank you very much.